The Monoman County Sheriff released dash cam video of a police shooting that happened in Natawash back in March. Usually prosecutors would keep this video under wraps until all prosecuting avenues are complete. But in this case, the sheriff, the prosecutor, and the Minnesota BCA, who is handling the investigation, agreed it had to be released now. The sheriff says he's releasing the video to take the target off one of his deputies' backs. And we'd like to caution you this video may be disturbing to some people. The sheriff today released this 30-second clip that shows part of the events following a police chase leading up to the shooting and the shooting itself. The video shows what appears to be a calm scene as Deputy Zerny is putting handcuffs on, on Basswood and another female. He says that's when Basswood pulled out a gun and pointed it at him. Deputy Zerny then fired several shots. According to her family, Basswood was hit three times but survived. A racial justice group in the Twin Cities claims Zerny is just a trigger-happy cop who almost killed a woman. They even posted these wanted posters of Zerny and are planning a number of protests. After an administrative review, Deputy Zerny returned to work a few days ago. With him back on the street, Sheriff Josh Gunther felt it was important to be transparent about the incident for Deputy Zerny's safety. There is some concern. Um, as far as that, that poster being out there, you know, maybe some vigilanteism, but um, I'm completely confident in his skills and his training and uh, his partners, you know, to look after him. So, and, it, and it's just, it's part of the job. The Clearwater County Sheriff is still reviewing whether Deputy Zerny was justified. Basswood, who has been released from the hospital and is in jail, is the one charged with attempted murder along with several other gun charges. The BCA is still working to find out if Basswood ever fired a shot. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.